rumor has it, S Hunt is playing there too, so. Hmm. No? Some. I mean, he probably is like playing incognito. I dare say probably Alex Sensual is lurking in there too. Wink, wink, chat. Ah, uh, could be. <laughs> chat is very <laughs> suspicious right now. They, they have been um, talking about it for a while. I could totally see that happen. He played on that Roshire, by the way, so that did happen. Yeah. Well, then he's gonna play this too. I can't, so... I think he will play it. I don't know if he's gonna talk about it. That, that's the part that I, I'm pretty sure he's gonna play. After those last videos and then he vanished? Uh, I feel, yeah. Mm. Okay, this is weird, okay? This <laughs> is this is the, the first time this particular event happened with Alex Sensual. He usually deletes everything and disappears. But this time his channel and Twitch are still up. I don't mm. know what's up with that. What he's scheming. I think he's gonna come back. I mean, he will come back anyway, but I mean, I think he's gonna go back to those channels. Yeah, it's it's weird for certain. I pretty much begged him not to delete his stuff since he put in a lot of work to do this, so... Maybe oh. he, he listened to this, I don't know. I mean, uh, he probably will. He listens to absolutely everything that talks about him. But... <laughs> I don't know, Alex is weird. Every time this happened, uh, like quite a bit of times, so I don't know how far into the into the, the Alex Sensual story you are in. I know it's like kind of an inside joke by now. Mm, I know a lot more now. A lot of people um, told me some stuff, showed me some stuff. Uh, now I know much more. <laughs> no, yeah, but basically he has these very violent swings when one day he is like, uh, uh, destroy Blizzard, Blizzard is the Antichrist, uh, go private servers, and he makes a channel about hating video games, and then the next month he says video games are good again, and then the next month he deletes his channel, and then the next month he makes a new channel, like he deleted his channel like one now, four times, it's crazy. Four times? Yeah, because uh, le let, me, let me do the math right here, uh, because uh, I don't really remember exactly. He had his first YouTube channel that was like the golden age of Alex Sensual. That was the part that everybody loved him because he was like the, you, the private server. People don't understand this, man. Like for two or three years, Alex Sensual was the Vanilla Wow guy. You thought of Vanilla Wow, you thought of Alex Sensual. Like if he didn't uh, shoot himself on the foot so many times, Alex Sensual would be huge right now. He was like getting 3,000 viewers when Asmongol was getting 5,000 viewers. Oh, and he threw that away. Oh, boy. He threw it away. He threw it away. He threw it away three times. Of, okay, okay. The, where I was going with this, he had his original Jesus. channel. He gets banned out of Twitch. Like a, a few months later, like six months later, he deletes his YouTube channel. Then mm. he makes a rare spawn. That was the channel about pop culture and video games that weren't World of Warcraft. If you said the word, the word, the World of Warcraft in his chat, you would get instantly banned during this era. Oh my god. If you said World of Warcraft in the chat under any constant content context, oh my god, I cannot talk context, he would ban you. This was I think 2017-ish. No, sorry, 2019-ish. I am mixing it up. And then he deleted that one and he made a, another channel called Alex to the Top. And he... This is hard to explain for somebody that hasn't watched it. You know, like... You know, like... Andrew Tate, Jordan Peterson, th those people that are like, Oh, you gotta be a, 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 a male, you gotta work out, you gotta... You gotta, you know, like... Uh, I don't know... Ah... Uh. Is this uh, where the meme came from, where he sits on his chair and eats popcorn? <laughs> yes, <laughs> Is yes, this? that was the one, yeah. that was the one, that oh was boy. right before him deleting it, yes. So oh he was boy. talking about how like WoW players are beta males and everybody that disagreed with him was a liberal and it was really funny, like he would come up with something like that every week, it was very funny. That was his third channel. And then he deleted that channel, okay, and now we're in the in this arc of this channel that he deleted now. I mean, he didn't delete it, he unlisted a bunch of videos and disabled comments and hasn't uploaded since. So we're in the fourth no. channel now. This is the fourth season of Alex Sensual Anime. But I was so happy when he came back, man. 
Like, I, I was hopeful, okay? I don't hate the guy. That's the, the sad part. Same. Same. Yeah. I was so happy when he came back and he's, he looked like he was having a good time and actually trying to redeem himself and then he threw it away again. Yeah, exactly. I, that's why I reached out to him. I saw him... He wanted, uh, the, he apologized to the content creator he wronged and uh, he said he could need some help. And I was like, hey, he wants to redeem himself. Why not help him out? Yeah. And then it got stranger and stranger. I, I, I have some stories too, but uh, it's. Uh, uh, he uh, seemed to speed one uh, everything then. I mean, he's a hardhead. He's like very, very, very stubborn, Tildia. And since he, since he's so stubborn, he doesn't really take too simple advice like do not feed the trolls or anything like that. That that is the hard part for him. And because we mm. were all talking to him, like he was in good terms with almost every YouTuber be besides Alex Sensual and. As Mongol and all of that. I don't know, like, if there's one thing that is worse than never apologizing, it is to apologize when you don't mean it. Oh, yeah. I think that's that's what backfired on him. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. What, what, what me wrong was um, that he claimed that people wouldn't help him, especially streamers, and then he had people like Cargos helping him and... He shit on those people constantly. It's I told Cargos. I, I told Cargos. He came to stream the other day, and I told him, "Man, I know you meant very well, and I know you're a very good guy. I hope you learn not to play with fire anymore." Like yeah, a lot of people were playing with fire. Uh, if if it's yeah. a, if I had to guess, if I had to guess, uh, a lot of YouTubers were, were accepted quote unquote his apology because they wanted to see what happened. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, I heard that from someone. Yeah, I don't want to name names, but I heard that, yeah. Okay, okay. I, you don't have to confirm or deny this. Okay, I totally believe Payo did that. I totally believe he took the apology and helped him just to see what happens. I, I, that's how the guy is. <laughs> yeah, well, he is. Uh, he likes his memes as well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we love memes, like... And again, people don't hate him. That's the sad part. We kind of love him. That's why we care so much about the meme. If he was something yeah. that somebody that's really a bad person, we wouldn't care. We would just be like, get rid of him. But we can't. We can't. We crave Alex. Yeah, it's it's strange. He claimed um, some of you guys were awful people uh, doing heinous things. And then uh, we banned, or he banned most of the time. And then he just invites them instantly back, and it's like, would you really invite someone who doxed you? Or does other things, or did other things? It's... Uh, I don't know. Uh, he I does this do a that. lot. This is against YouTube TOS, by the way. You cannot just invite people to mass report somebody. That is against TOS. Yeah. That's against the rules. But he was basically, for all you that don't know, guys, he was claiming, you know, the, the YouTube channels that are compilating Alex's clips and they are like making fun of him, like he says something dumb on, dumb on stream and they clip it and they put it on YouTube. He was claiming that three of those channels were behind some sort of operation to harm him and to pursue his family and a lot of bad stuff. And then all of a sudden, the second his viewers start dropping, he invites them back like nothing happened. Makes you think. Yeah. Was he really threatened by them? Like, did he really feel in danger if he was doing that? Yeah, that, that's really the question. Did he lie from the start? That's He's sabotaging himself. He's his worst enemy. He is sad. Like, we told them, okay? Like, I am not the only guy that told them because why would he listen to me? I'm a random nobody. I know three separate people that have very big channels on Twitch and YouTube. Well, maybe not Twitch, but... YouTube. They are at least very big YouTubers and they told him the same thing. Dude, just sit on Twitch and complain about Blizzard and play WoW and you're gonna succeed. And he didn't listen to a single one of them. I would understand if he wants uh, to have a new audience, but he doesn't have the patience. He wanted to be the good boy 
but I, he gave it for like two months and then he went <laughs> two weeks. back on his word. Yeah, that's more like that, yeah. It's like, dude, you need to have patience. And uh, here's uh, the problem, like he's stuck in 2016, right? You cannot just sit on Twitch and play WoW and expect to grow anymore. Sadly, that cannot happen anymore. There's too much competition and the content is better than that now. But here, yep. he doesn't want to put the work in. Like, he said he's not ever, ever going to make guides again. I would love to see him make guides or something like that. He would probably be very successful, but he doesn't want to work on it. I loved his guides. I really loved his guides. Uh. Yeah. I mean, everybody... Uh, would a single guy in chat right now? Uh, you, you seem very engaged. We got one of his mods in here. All the mods told him this, by the way. What a poachy. Uh, hey, poachy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like... I don't think even his most awful trolls would be would be upset if all Daleks came back and he was all Daleks again and he was making good, high effort content again. Everybody would be happy about them. Yeah, pretty much um, everyone I talked to, even if they would would be a bit more harsh towards him, they wanted his best. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I can understand why maybe s Fund or Tips Out wouldn't want that. I don't know how they feel about it, because he actually did some bad stuff to them, but everybody else really doesn't. More, we just think it's hilarious. Yeah, but... Yeah, it's... Sorry. No, pro no problem, go ahead. No, uh, it's the delay, you know, we interrupt each other because there's like a... <laughs> he's in yeah, Europe, I, I am in Latin America, and we there's a little bit of time before the... Sound comes through, it's, it messes up the timing a little. I apologize for that, boys. I don't know what were you saying. Yeah, it's just a shame. Uh, it's it's really um, sad to be honest. It makes me sad. He had everything. He got even unbanned from Twitch. Yeah, that who is does that? Exactly. That that is like a one in a million opportunity he had. And then he um closes off the discord uh, you need to have youtube membership then suddenly uh, you need discord um twitch membership that was very funny like so if you're a troll and you give him money you're not a troll anymore <laughs> if you're a danger to him and you give him money you're not a danger to him anymore is that how it works yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't know either. I, I don't know. I, I can't see him planning this out. This was... So... Yeah, the conspiracy the theories, man. The conspiracy theories. I, I mean, I had... Uh, before I reached out to him, I had literally people telling me he's a scam artist. You are scamming now too. Stop doing this and stuff like this. And I was like, what the f***? What the hell are they are talking about? What's what's up here? Yeah, like people are were coming coming up with these conspiracy theories of he used Deverlook for cloud and then he planned this ahead of time. Dude, the guy cannot stick for like a week to a plan, and you think he planned this before before a time? Okay, I don't think he's fighting playing fight the chess right now. Wait, you were a mod for him? Yeah, yeah. For how long? Oh, um, almost till the end. Um, I left three days uh, before about that time because I got uh, a bit too much heat for my uh, uh, liking and I was uh, telling him in the mod channel, hey man, I don't want to deal with this anymore. I can't deal with this. Uh, please unmod me. I just want to be a viewer again. And he just ignored me. And was just arguing with other people in Discord. So I was like, you know what, I'm out. I, it was like, come on, dude. No, yeah, he he spends an inordinate amount of time arguing with people on Discord. He, that's what he does. That's why people wanted to be on his Discord. He gives them an insane amount of attention. Like, if you are positive to him and you tell him you love him, he doesn't look at you. But if you say something yeah. bad about him, he will go to the ends of the earth to chase you. And that's way more funny. It was so strange. Um, he had times where he didn't stream, which is totally fine if he needs time. No biggie. Absolutely. Yeah, he was then hiding or staying in Discord. Sometimes he was invisible. And then he was sniping people. He was literally <laughs> sniping people in Discord. 
I was looking, there was a bad comment. I, I, I was looking at the chat history. I don't just ban people. I just look, maybe, um, you know, have some nuance, some context. And this guy was just a sniper. I was clicking on the name. Gone. I was like, dude, come on. You don't want to stream, but you are uh, sitting here and sniping people. He says he doesn't have the time to make YouTube videos. Yeah. Do you have any idea how much time it takes to... 24-hour mod moderate a Discord? He is the best moderator you can have, dude. Oh my god. Like, you just take him and he's uh, like a machine gun. Like, uh, they were go the chats were chat was disappearing like half a second. Half a second after the message went through. I don't know. He was playing WoW and banning people at the same time. If you pay attention to the stream, right? If you pay attention to the stream while watching the chat, you could see like... He would like stop playing for half for like a second, ban two people and go back every time. Like he was like, yeah, it's... he would interrupt his rotation to ban people faster. Yeah, it was like, dude, you have mods, let them handle this. And also I saw a meme and I guess it wasn't a meme with his rapid eye movement. He was just banning people. That's no joke. Like you, you can tell he was swapping from one monitor to the other. Yeah. It is crazy. It was like, damn, man. And here's the part that I don't get. Like, if chat upsets you so much, nobody forces you to read chat. Like, why don't you stream with chat off? Yeah. I mean, we're not reading chat much right now because we're having a podcast, but that's perfectly fine. You don't need to see the chat 24-7, especially if it upsets you that much. I don't know. I don't know if he ever thinks about this this those things it seems like he's just um yeah he follows his emotions this comes uh, well it feels for me like that yeah i think he knows but he cannot control himself like you have to know after eight years of streaming you have to know that that it is dumb there's no way yeah. okay so rest in peace alex sensual and uh, when you come back yeah rip. bring flowers when you come back you're still welcome in youtube man we we cannot wait for the the classic uh, okay let's close this thing do you think he's gonna be back for that classic i can't tell uh, i think he's gone to be honest for uh, for now at least mm. okay i am willing to put on the table half an apple that he's gonna be back on classic rat when it comes out he's gonna go back to streaming Mm. What you gotta say about that? Yeah, this you get half another an apple right half here. of an apple. <laughs> okay, if he doesn't come back on Red Classic, uh, can somebody write this down because I'm gonna forget? Let, let me know. If he doesn't come back for Red Classic, I'm gonna eat another apple core on stream. <laughs> he will come back. It's not a matter of is, it's a matter of when he's gonna come back. It's a shame, man. We lost somebody that would have been so good for the private server community. It doesn't make me happy at all. Yeah, for sure. Like, the first 10k people, easy to say he brought half of those people. He brought me in. I wouldn't have covered Everlook uh, if he wasn't there, so... He's crazy. S such a shame. Such a shame. Subscribe to check out more pieces of the podcast.